Peace, everybody. I'm back again. All right, it's Daniel Lucas. Um, yeah, okay, last week I did a review on the Metro North commuter coaches. Okay, the two sets that I got. Okay, I even bought some extra stuff. Uh, sure, and I just want to just give you a little rundown, you know what I'm saying, about the uh, Horizon and the Comet car fleet, you know what I'm saying, and... You know, basically, stuff out there that's built from uh, Bombardier, okay? You know what I'm saying? Some of the fleet out there, well, the Amtrak coaches, okay, they're weathered, of course. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the uh, Metro North, one of the fleet, one of the um, sets is weathered. And the other one and the stuff I'm going to redo on my own. Okay, as you can see right here in the foreground, okay, you know what I'm saying? Car number 6,115, okay, has been, uh, it was duplicate. I had a duplicate set, so I'm going to change this car. Of course, as you can see, you know what I'm saying, what it looked like when it's coming out of the box, okay, and what it looks like, okay, uh, when when you resemble it as you see it out here in the real life. Of course, I got to add the Wi-Fi antennas as well as another icicle antenna on the top. Uh, they got the horns correct. Also, what I also did with the uh, super detailed weathered coach, well, cab coach, um, I recessed the coupler, you know what I'm saying, to where it's up under the... Uh, the, the the kick plate, the striker plate. Whereas in the model, okay, the coupler, okay, extends out, which is not really prototypical. Okay. Um same thing for the you know other coaches, okay, you know, the other coaches um such as the Poughkeepsie as well as the Empire State. Okay, you see I got an amp probe meter in the back. You know, the box full of daggone FL9 rebuilds, okay, you know what I'm saying, my custom painted, you know, P42 from Cato, and, you know what I'm saying, my Amfleet coaches, and the uh, two Metro North cars that's also undone, I'm going to redecal and uh, renumber them, okay, uh, I'm thinking about the, the Loneliest Monk or Tear the Clouds, you know, either one of the two. Um, sure. And the cab coach, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have this one. I'm going to do this specially made more than likely. I'm going to, you know, cause my brother, you know what I'm saying? Man, sure. He's no longer with us, but, um, you know, I may even name, I'll may, name it Alfie T. Lucas. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sure. I, I scribed the name off. Okay. Cause again, it was the Knickerbocker. Okay. It was a duplicate set. So, you know what I'm saying, man? So, you know, it was only right to go ahead, take off the name and the roster number. And I just go ahead and I redecal it and renumber it, okay, to something else. So, you know what I'm saying? I've been buying a lot of uh, Rapido products to date, especially the passenger equipment. I mean, right now, I got to be honest with you, um... You know, I asked Wathers, you know what I'm saying, if they was going to uh, release, re-release or retool their Horizon Fleet and Comic Coaches because, you know, I felt they did so well with the uh, with the Amfleet 1s and Amfleet 2s retooling, albeit, you know, they could have been a little better with the uh, trucks. But, uh, you know, they kind of brushed me off. So this video, okay, is more like in response to, and I got other Horizon Fleet coaches at the house as well. Uh, right now I'm up here in the museum. So, you know, like I said, I got to say, you know, and I'm just going to be honest with you, uh, you know, Rapido's been second to none in, you know what I'm saying, building and making, you know, retooling and making passenger cars and, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I've, you know, it's been, you know, I've been working it out with them, you know, for a, for a long time. You know, I did the weathering, of course, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I got to, it's got to be reality. What I did with the couple of box was I recessed it, 
Okay, you know, I went on ahead and I shimmed some of the box down and I added the uh a shelf coupler, okay, the correct shelf coupler, you know, under the anticlimate. A couple of work, so you know, if this car is you know used as a conductor's office, okay, mid train, you know, what I'm saying it's still the the cars can still navigate. You know, through the through the through the uh, turn style, through the turn switches and everything, through curves and everything. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's not something utilitarian. Okay, like some models are. You know, where they just cookie cut a model. You know, Rapido went on the head and did things specific, according to a specific model. So. And you know this is a this is the finest time for a lot of model railroaders, okay, for those who do New Jersey transit, I mean, wow, man, I mean, I'm just uh i'm I'm feeling great and stuff about it man i'm this is like it's a you know for metro north, okay, that says a lot, you know again, you know, I got the rebuilds in the box, I'm getting ready to pack up and roll out. And stuff because I don't miss my dad going bus and train, you know what I'm saying. So, but I just had to just throw it out there, okay. Again, you know, I had to weather the cars some and stuff. Just like I said, you know, all models is nice, it looks good and everything when it comes out of the box. But you know, again, this is reality. You know what I'm saying. This model train life sometimes to others is real life. And some of us out there may be rivet counters. Okay, I'm a real counter. So, you know, it's got to be, and, you know, I freelance as well. So I have my own little, you know, uh, passenger system that's going on. And the Amtrak is still in effect or whatever, you know, even though these guys run in the Midwest. But, you know, they run so well. You know what I'm saying? Two coaches, a dinette. You know what I'm saying? And, uh. And this is just supposed to show, you know, how well and tough, you know, Bombardier builds, you know, a lot of their, uh, they're good on building commuter trains. I got to say that. Yeah, they're good on building commuter trains. But uh, as far as subway, eh, I don't know. And stuff. So commuter trains, yeah. Right now, Alstom, from what I understand, has them. Uh, once again, you know, I'm going to add on more. Because we got to keep up with the times and, you know, what's out there, what's available, you know, what's 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 available, what's unique, especially to us captive region modelers. And I got to say that, uh, <clears throat> you know, honestly, Rapido's answered the call. Waters, you got to step your game up. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're going to have to step your game up, okay, with the passengers. Yes, passenger trains is definitely in effect, okay? You keep brushing your dad going off, uh, your, your, your customers off, then, you know what I'm saying, man? Shoot, and then you start crying when, you know, we going somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Like, subscribe, share. You know what it is and stuff, man. Yo, I got to get ready to roll out. I'm going to holler at y'all. One.